subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel and if my video will make sense to you don't miss to hit the bell icon that's why that's the way you get the notifications so what I have for you today so as you remember last time we talked about the blending issues part one and I promise you that I'll come up with the part two so today I've come to keep my promise so this is the part two and what are the issues that we are facing before that if you are new to blending there uh, I have more than a couple of videos on blending and data blending versus cross TV join and joins that will be at my YouTube description <coughs> so you can go and you can watch those videos and after that you can come to this video and the part one as well cover those although it is not connected to the part one that means if you know blending you will be able to connect to the topic that we are uh, going to discuss today so let's get started this is the question this is the first part and we'll have three ways now what is the issue over there first of all what is the data source and you know, what, what is this visualization all about we say total sum at the top what is the total sum total sum is the sum of the sales at coffee chain and sa sample superstore sample su superstore being the primary data source that's why you see the blue background over there that means you have dragged the first dimension or measure from the primary from the sample superstore that's why it has become primary data source again you have to see my blending videos if you are new to this topic right? I'm not going to recite it recite this poem again so but one thing that you you got you got you get to notice over there is we are making use of ZN function because this is some of sales versus this and this international is at region at some sample superstore but but this let me show you first region of sample superstore otherwise you will say why didn't I tell you region of sample superstore is blended with market of coffee chain query so this is the common field and what I have dragged region from the primary data source okay so you I say that you have international at for extract superstore only and if you don't believe me then I can show you as well that market is not having international over there so I'll come back to the question that's what I'm saying and now when I talk about the total sum and I, I'm talking about the sum I'm making use of ZN because international is not there at coffee chain so if I try to do null plus something that will become null only right so if I use this one instead this will become null although you have a big amount for the international sales for the sample superstore that's why I'm using ZN function over there so that is the reason that you should notice especially when you are making use of blending and playing around with the measures at the calculation level right now the problem is that I want to sort this with respect to sales the total total sum of sales region so generally what you do is you go to sort and you say okay I'll go with the field I know the field it's total and I want to search that field which is not there so what I'll do don't panic I'm there for you the first is very simple you can just go and <laughs> do like this this is the way you have to do this. This is the way one. Got it. Now, if I go out of this sort, and what is the second way? Second way is to make copy of this total sum and copy this, and turn that to discrete. Okay, turn that to discrete. This should be discrete. It's already discrete, so I'm not going to turn that to continuous, and I say like this wow but what if by default it will go with the ascending order but what if I want the descending order no problem at all I'll go at the top and I say minus and also I'll make it discrete again I move it over there and I'll say I want I don't want this okay I would say okay it's ascending only but it's in minus so actually it is descending in terms of positive I would say show header I'll remove this from the view itself so these are the three ways with the help of which we can sort this problem at Tableau 
Now there is one another issue with blending that for the blending action filter means again the same data source and I have both the fields I'm for in order to create this example I'm just drag both the fields over there and if I want to create an action URL URL action okay now if you are new to URL action I have videos on action as well that you can see but this is action and I say okay I want to add an action I say URL action and I say uh, my sheet is blending action filter so I don't want others don't want others at all what the hell you're doing here select and I say URL action and if you see you have all the different you have region but you don't have market that means you uh, this is a sh limitation of tableau which I can show you the formal uh, documentation from tableau itself that causes fields from the secondary data sources cannot be used in the URL action so you can't do anything but you have to create a new worksheet make the data source that contain the contains the field that you want to use in the URL action the primary data source so you you got to have a new worksheet with that field and you have got to make that very worksheet as the primary data source like a lot of things to do right so that's why they have said that additional information and I would ri highly recommend you and I'll paste that link at my YouTube description as well where first if you have not joined the community join that community and after that you can vote up this idea what is this idea create URL actions using secondary data source that means uh, that means why I'm going again there that means that if I go to back to this very particular sheet and I say action filter I don't have to create any new sheet or something like that go to URL action and if I go over there that market should be over there right that market will be automatically over there so this uh, manual task will be cut down so these are the few topics that I wanted to discuss with you today these are all simple but very very useful so I'm <laughs> come to the end of this session and if you like this video I say bye bye for now. Keep on laughing with data. Data is data.